So you have these big goals that you want to achieve, but you're wondering how to deal with family members who don't support my goals. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Tiffany Toombs. I'm a high performance mindset coach that has worked with thousands of people across the world to help them reprogram their mind so they can achieve their goals faster. In this video, I'm going to share with you the real reason why your family members don't support you in your goals. Psst, it actually has nothing to do with you. Then I'm going to share with you a couple things that you can do to minimize their impact so that you can still keep moving forward and building momentum to achieve your goals. So you've likely heard the saying that we are the average of the five people that we spend the most time with. In reality, we're actually the average of all the people who are in our environment. What we don't often talk about though is that yes, they make up our average, but we also make up their average. So whenever we start doing things to go out and make change, we start going to personal development seminars or reading self-help books or watching videos like this, setting big crazy goals to improve our life, our health, our finances, whatever aspect that you're looking to change, we start to change our average. We start to raise our average up. What that does is it starts to inadvertently pull the average of the people around us up as well. When we make that decision to better ourselves in some way, we're stepping out of the comfort zone and what happens is you step into the panic zone. Anytime you leave what's comfortable and familiar, the fear center of your brain, the amygdala goes on red alert. It says, they're trying to kill us. We need to figure out what's going on here. Red lights flashing e-brake being pulled. And so we step into the panic zone and this is why it feels so uncomfortable, right? We get the racing heart, the sweaty palms. We feel butterflies in our stomach. We feel what we define as anxiety. And because we've made the decision, we're like, I really want this goal. We put up with the feelings of the panic zone to keep moving towards that goal because we know it's gonna be worth it. And in the long run, it absolutely is. If we can stay in the panic zone, we move into the growth zone, which means our comfort zone gets a little bit bigger. And next time we have to do something even bigger and crazier to step outside of our comfort zone. But here's why your family doesn't support you in your goals. When you step outside of your comfort zone, when you start raising your average, you pull them out of theirs, which means all of a sudden they're in the panic zone and they did not make that decision. They did not decide on their own to do that. And so they go into freak out mode. Their body literally goes into fight, flight, or freeze, which means they either start arguing with you or making snide, sarcastic remarks to you. Oh, I don't think now's the right time. Oh, are you sure that you can do that? Oh, the economy. They run away, so they just stop talking to you, or they completely freeze and shut down. They can't be a part of that conversation. Sometimes it feels like they're ignoring you or they're just looking right through you. So it actually has nothing to do with you and everything to do with the fact that they are put in a fight or flight system because you are making change. Think of it as you're starting to shine your light in the world, which is great. The people who are ready to make change can follow in your footsteps. They can use the light that you're shining on the path to see their way, but it's also shining a light on the area that other people in your life are playing small. That can make them really uncomfortable and it can make their ego really defensive. So regardless of how your family is showing a lack of support for you, the reason that they're doing it is because they are in fight or flight. It has nothing to do with you. Now, before I share with you what you can do to minimize the impact of their lack of support, I wanna hear from you. What is the big crazy goal that you're going after right now? Go to the comments below and let me know so we can cheer you on here. 
So the first thing that I would recommend in how to deal with family members who aren't supporting you, and this can also include close friends because they're in the same bucket, is that you actually minimize what you share with them. It's okay to not tell them every aspect of what you're working on and what you're moving towards. What I would encourage you to do is find a group of like-minded people who will support you that you can share your wins and your frustrations with, and then also continue to have that relationship that you have with your family without having to tell them every single detail. It's important that we recognize where we're looking for others' validation in order to tell us that we're good enough to move forward. Ultimately, as long as we're looking for validation outside of ourselves, we're giving our power to other people. Now, if you're in the process of doing the inner work and healing, then that's great. Taking back your power and seeking your own validation is always the best way to success. And while you're in that journey, find the group who will support you. There's plenty of Facebook communities and masterminds and things that you can join. There's a quote out on social media about how the person who supports you most is the best friend from the internet that you've never met in person. And that couldn't be more true. On my own personal journey, some of the people who supported me the most were people I had never met in person, but I had connected with online. So look into those forums and those Facebook groups and those communities where you can be around like-minded people who will support you and you can maintain your relationship with your friends and family without having to tell them every detail of your dream or the actions that you're taking towards that. Now, before I share with you another tool that you can use to minimize the impact of your family on the momentum towards your goals, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out brand new videos every single week that's going to help you achieve those goals faster because you become the master of your mind. So go ahead and click that subscribe button now. Now, the second thing that I recommend to everybody who has a lack of support from their friends or family is that it is extremely important to set boundaries with them. Now, this doesn't have to be an aggressive or an angry conversation, but just tell them which comments are no longer acceptable in your life. It can be as simple as saying to them, it's okay if you don't understand my vision, I just don't need any comments about it. It's okay if you don't fully support or believe in what I'm wanting to achieve, I just don't want to hear any negative comments comments about it and just let them know with every boundary we have to tell them what the consequence is just let them know what the consequence is if you feel the need to continue to belittle my dreams or belittle my goals then I'll spend less time with you I won't share what's going on in my life with you or I might even have to remove you from my life indefinitely while I go out on the pursuit of this goal. Now, I realize that setting boundaries can be a fairly tricky conversation, so I wanna give you three language patterns that are going to help you do this. The first is, I appreciate and. So setting a boundary would sound something like this. I appreciate our relationship and I want to maintain it. And in order for that to happen, I need for you to stop making negative comments about the goals and the dreams that I have. The second is I respect and. So it would sound something like this. I respect our relationship enough to let you know that when you make these degrading or negative comments, it really hurts my feelings. And so in order for this relationship to continue and for both of us to feel respected, I need those comments to stop. The third language pattern is I agree and. So setting a boundary with this one would sound something like this. I agree that not everybody is going to understand my vision for the future and that's okay. If you can't actively and vocally support me, then just don't say anything at all. So it doesn't have to be aggressive. It doesn't have to be negative. It can just be a simple emotionless conversation, letting them know what you expect from them in the future. Now, if you truly want to achieve these goals faster and you really want to master your mind to do that, then I would love to invite you to join my five day mind mastery challenge. This is a totally free challenge that I've designed to help you overcome fear, imposter syndrome, overwhelm, and so many other things that typically derail people from achieving their goals. All you have to do to get instant access is go to nlpworksheet.com or click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching.